Hello, and welcome to Nature Walks with Drew Crumwoody, famous biologist. Today we are learning about a, an extinct parasite, and we're going to recreate a model and demonstrate how it functioned in the environment. Let's see how it's made, shall we? The parasite in review today is a rare and mythical slow crab. While the model is being built, let's discuss the creature itself. The slow crab was found in a very large excavation site by yours truly. And is truly an awe-inspiring creature. From the fossil we find, we speculate the creature is not really a crab, but in fact a parasite. The slow crab will latch onto passing creatures and will literally live off the creature for the rest of its life. However, before it does this, it makes a hard shell out of the surrounding materials to ensure the creature cannot simply scratch it off. As the model nears completion, let's review what we used to make it. The creature is constructed using cardboard boxes, Elmer's glue, and only Elmer's glue, exacto knives with precision cuts, and lots and lots of tape all together through the curing process. See, it wasn't that easy. Any do-it-yourselfer could have a slow crab too if he or she wants. Now back to the matter at hand. You can now see the creature in its natural habitat, San Luis Obispo. Notice the detailing on the shell, the quality of build, and artistic expression that truly make this creature come alive. Watch as it traverses the barren concrete landscape in search of its next unsuspecting lifelong host. How fluid and agile it moves. Amazing how nature truly creates the most elegant of creatures. Lastly, before we wrap up this documentary, I'd like to show you an amateur sketchup done by yours truly. Look at how the parasite grabs onto its victim. Riveting. Well that is all folks. Adios. Could you